Okay, guys, so here's the thing. Check out this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. The fact of the matter is, the police are not your friends. I will put the original link to this guy's channel in the description, and I'll be adding additional commentary and narration under fair use. I'll be adding my commentary and criticism throughout sections of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. All original links in the description. Bye-bye. Point one, clear. Why are you filming me? Hello, Mr. Robot. Clear. Clear. How's it going, sir? Sir, can I talk to you over here? Can we just talk over here? What's wrong with talking to me here? I just want to talk to you in front of my car where we're not in front of the entrance and we can just have a little peaceful conversation. That's all yeah. I want. All right, go ahead and walk. I, I prefer you in front of me. No, if you don't I'm mind. not going to walk in front of you, sir. That's officer safety reasons. We can walk that way. Walk towards my car. He's making me walk backwards, guys. Sir, I'm not making you walk backwards. You're walking backwards yourself. We're well, gonna keep you on camera, so okay? You, you can keep me on camera. I just want to talk to you. That's all I want to do. I don't appreciate being on the camera without my permission. That's against. How the far law. am I being no, detained? No, no. I we're gonna. Am, am I being detained? Sir, you're being detained right now just for trying to figure for, out what's going on here. That's all I'm trying to do. Is there? We got called. For, there's a verbal. Di there's a verbal disturbance here. Can you back up just a little bit? No, six sir. Feet? We're gonna walk back here. The six feet, please. We're gonna walk back in front of my car. In front of my car. So I'm being detained. You are being detained, yes, sir. For what crime? There is a verbal disturbance here. That's all I need to investigate. A all right. Verbal disturbance? Yes, sir. I need your driver's license or an ID card. What's going to happen to me if I don't give you my document? I have to. I have to show. I have to know who you are so I can trespass you if required. So That's verbal, all I need to know. Verbal is, disturbance is a crime, sir. So I'm being was, accused of a crime. You are not being accused of a crime. That's what well, I'm trying to explain. Detained? Because there was a verbal disturbance. All right, we're not going to go There's down no this route. Verbal disturbance. We're not. We're not going to go down this route. All who's, right. Who's the we're victim? just going to have a conversation. What route am, are we not going to go down? Gosh, sir, can you just listen are to you me? Being, are you Are you becoming frustrated? Are you becoming frustrated? No, sir. I just want to know. Do you really want to go down this route? That's what I'm trying I would to just find. like to know what my rights are in this situation. Just like all your rights everywhere else. You're in America. You have all your you rights. You have a name and badge number. It's right here. My name's right Your there. Your name is right here? Right there. It's okay. on. You can uh, put it on camera. Let, I don't care, sir. I need to know his, who... His camera. Is, your, is your camera activated right now? Yes, sir. Okay, make sure it's on. It's, it's been on this entire time. It's sir. covering your name. You can have my card. I do not this care, sir. I need to... M3. Right. Say again? Yes, sir. M3. All right. I just need to know who you are so that I can figure all this out. Then we can go about our merry way. That's all I need to figure out. Okay. So the fact of the matter is, the police are not your friends. Do not give your ID to the police when you haven't broken the law, unless they threaten you with arrest. When they get your ID, they're going to run you for warrant and do a background check. Do I need to know who I'm trespassing? It's kind of hard to trespass an unknown person, isn't it? So I'm being detained right who now. Who are you? I'm being detained right now for filming. Because you, it's all on, so there was no, yeah, there was no nope. verbal disturbance. That's what I'm getting told. There was a verbal disturbance, okay, citizen well, dispute. That is video. what I'm here for. I got it all on video. There was no verbal disturbance. Well, oh, that's what I'm here for. I don't know because I've been talking to you since I got here, correct? Okay. Is, is, correct. Am I being accused of a crime? Sir, I need to figure out what's going on. Why? I need to identify who you are and who everybody else is involved in this whole thing. I don't Can understand you just... why you need to know who I am to decide whether there was a crime being oh committed. My gosh. Sir, what's your name? Can you just de-escalate a little bit? I am de-escalating. I am not riled up. It looks like you're getting up. very frustrated. Well, tell me who you are. Well, I don't want to give you up my uh, Fourth Amendment rights. You're not giving up your Fourth Amendment Unless rights. Unless you're going to uh, threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to volunteer any information to you. Sir, who are you? Again, 
Unless you threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to identify. What is your name? Again, I am, what I'm will happen to me if I, don't, if I do not give you my identity? If there's a crime, then I'm gonna charge you with multiple crimes. If there's a crime? If there was a crime that was committed, or if you're trespassing, or anything like that, then I'm gonna charge you with obstruction. Okay, well, th until you tell- And, and until delaying you tell and me, interfering listen, with my investigation. That listen, is what I'm gonna charge you with. Listen, it's just like if you were driving down the roadway and you do not provide a driver's license or ID card to prove who you are. Can we get a supervisor here, please? I have two other deputies here. Okay. I don't need, I need a, to supervisor. Talk to a supervisor. Why do you need to talk to a supervisor? Because I don't believe you know the law. Okay. You're not respecting my, my, my constitutional rights. I am here to do a job, right? And I got called here lawfully and told that there was a citizen dispute and a verbal disturbance. And I told so, you that I don't- And I am not here to argue with you about the verbal disturbance. I need to know who's identified on what, what crimes and what stuff so I can investigate what's going on. One of the many lies police tell is that if you give them your ID, it'll determine if you commit a crime or not. That is not true. Giving your ID to a police officer doesn't determine if you broke the law or not. Can you come over to this location? What's your first thing? You can call me good citizen. I'm not gonna call you a good citizen. I wanna talk to you like a human being. I wanna know your name Sir that way I fine. can talk to you. Sir is fine. 19, can you go ask what's going on? And find out what they want done. Three cars out here for a guy with a camera. Three squad cars. It could be all resolved are you, very are you quickly, sir. want to be a supervisor sir. here, sir? I already called my supervisor. Thank you. Since you're not going to give up your name or anything like that, you are delaying my investigation, just so you're aware. I just want you to be aware. That's all I want. Well, I just want you to be aware that I'm not going to give you my ID unless you threaten to arrest me. I don't want to go to jail. Why would I threaten to arrest you? I'm not going to threaten to arrest you. I'm just going to arrest you if I have a crime or something. You realize that, right? I'm not going to well, threaten to arrest you. I want to give you, you my ID it. if you're going to arrest me. If, if, if it can stop me from being arrested, if, if giving you my ID stops me from going to jail, then I'm going to give you my ID. Well, that'd be nice. Okay, but if I don't have to give you my ID, I don't want to give you my ID. See, I agree with the cameraman. If you don't have the money to fight a case or don't have the correct support to challenge something, then the fact of the matter is it'll be really hard to win a case. You know, it takes money to win a case. It's not easy as you think it is. On me. I asked him to step away, he wouldn't do it. He started getting very agitated. I know the guy for years, he doesn't get agitated. Well, I got it on film, bud. Oh man, I bet you do. Yep. What's your name and badge number? Oh. You want to identify? We don't have badge numbers. You're the public servant here. You're the one that's supposed to identify, not the public. Well, you're not our master. You're... you're not our master. I'm not saying I'm your you master. Stop acting like it. Stop, why, start why are you going down this route? What is what behind all this? Talking, like, please... why are you trying to do this? What is what is your purpose right now? Well, right now I'm just standing up for my Fourth Amendment rights, and you don't seem to like that. It ir irritates you. It doesn't irritate me. Sure, it does. I love the Constitution. You don't have a right to know who I am. If I haven't broken the law, you have no authority over me. You've illegally detained me now for about ten minutes. If you would like to leave, you can leave. Well, you just told me I was detained. Yeah, well, this crime well, was occurring, I'm free but to leave, if, you're I'm gonna, free to stay. if you're gonna leave, then- If I'm free to leave, I'm free okay. to stay. Then we're not gonna go back there. Why are you standing in front of me? You we're just said I was free to leave. We're not gonna go back there, because I gotta figure out way. what's going on back there. But if you're gonna walk down the Am road, I, I don't to, care. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. Oh. Am I detained? Am I detained? Let me figure out what's going on over here. You see how he won't tell here. me whether I'm detained or not? This is a tyrant right here. Okay, this... He will not tell me whether I'm being detained. You want to go he's down a tyrant. this? I am... This is the Kootenai County Sheriff's okay. Department, guys. Really? 
Am I detained? If for you're gonna the, walk away, if you're time. gonna walk away, then go ahead. But if you're not gonna walk away, if you're gonna stay here, then I need to figure out what they want to do if they well, want trespassing. This is public property. You can ask me to leave, but you can't trust me from public property. You know, did you take an oath to the Constitution? Okay. All right. Always film the police because it is your first amendment right to do so. Get back to the video. It's not, maybe not stick. You can ask all you want, but to keep your six feet from what's your what's your name and badge stuff. number? But you can go stand there all you want in video. Okay, what's your That's name and badge number? All right. What's your name and badge number? We don't have badges. That's all I know. That's all I need to know, sir. That's all I want. They won't identify. They come up here like a tyrant. The walk of shame. The walk of shame. That's what you're doing right now. A tyrant walk of shame. Have a good day, sir. Don't I'm ever like come up on me like that again or I will sue you. Okay. You hear me? Okay. I'm the public. You're the servant. Okay. Have a good day. Read sir. your constitution. I just, I just want you to know. Have a good day. Yeah, now it is. What if I didn't have the camera? So, Kootenai County Sheriff, guys. I'm going to go back over here. Because I can. Until they actually, I want to go over there and get their car numbers. Ten. This one is 52. So the fact of the matter is the police are not your friends. And anytime you deal with the police, you got to know your rights. Remember, guys, you can't trust law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. You got to remember, the police have the right to lie to you at any point of the investigation. They have the ability to lie in all 50 states under federal law. But if you lie to the police, you go to jail. Going. Good, how are you doing? All right. Did you need us? Yeah, I did. What's going on? Uh, were you one of the officers that showed up earlier? No, no. My name is Sergeant Fresh. Sergeant, okay, I had requested the supervisor earlier, but one never came. Um, um, well, I'm the supervisor here now. Okay, so some of your officers came up here, I don't know, about three deep. And we had a little conversation, realized I wasn't doing anything illegal. Okay. And uh, so then they told me I could go, go ahead and go back to do what I was doing. And okay. when I did, some guy come out of there and told me to, to stop filming him and grab my camera. He's still and there, uh, no, but I got it on film, his license plate, and everything like that. So, do I go down to the sheriff's department to file a complaint? Okay, uh, you, we can take care of you now, but we're gonna need need the footage for for video or for mm -hmm. evidence rather. So you're gonna have to take and comp or take possession of the of the of no. the camera. Yeah. How how are you gonna attain the the data? Well, I'm hoping you're going to tell me the truth and say. Well, I can show it to you right is, here. This is the guy that, or this is what's going on. Okay, this I, is one of your guys. I'm not going to complain on you, bud, but you were like way out of line, bud. I was not out of line, sir. Come on, okay, man. Well, guys, 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 guys. I'm gonna I help can you show out. you this guy too. Okay. His demeanor. I, I, I'm going to help you out here, okay? So yeah. you want to file battery charges against whoever? So um, actually, what I'd like to happen is it's. I'm not here trying to educate the public and the so and the public servants. Okay. On First Amendment. That's my goal out here. Okay. That's it. Okay. I'm not up to anything nefarious. And uh, and so this guy, yeah, you're blocking the Me. traffic here. Can so, I take, sir, what's your first name? Uh, once you get out of the way, I'll, I'll think about go, that a minute. take this over to that property? Yeah, I'll do that. I want you to understand something. The police are not your friends. They are not your friends and they cannot be trusted. I always tell you this because they have so much power 
to ruin your life. The Supreme Court ruled that the police have the right to lie to you at any point of the investigation. If you lie to the police, you go to jail. If they lie to you, it's part of their job. I explained myself multiple times to you. It's all on film, I, bud. I, I explained myself Everyone can make up times. their own mind. You, okay, I'm fine okay. with that. I wanted sure. you. I wanted to explain to you what's going on and why I was called there. Right. And I you're not. That. You're not helping me out. You're not. You're being helping. a tyrant, man. I am not being yes, a tyrant. You were. I'm trying to explain. I said there was a citizen dispute or a verbal disturbance here. I am investigating that. I want to help you. If you're the victim in it, I want to be there okay. to help you. But All you're right. not helping at me out by telling me who you are or what you're doing or what's going on, why I'm called there. Nothing. You're not making your sheriff's office look good right now, bud. Just, just please calm down and, and just think about it a minute. All right, so I thought about it a second, man. And listen, I'm out here. I'm actually, believe it or not, trying to bridge a gap, trying to educate, like I say, the public servants and the, and the public about the First Amendment right. Okay. okay. And that's why I'm out here. Uh, I'm not going to press charges on on the person at this time because you, you know you're right. I'll probably have to give up my uh, my ID. Um, I have a. I will give you a card. I have a YouTube channel. Okay. I will give you a card. What's your, What's it, it called? Is it North Idaho it, Exposed? No, 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 no. I don't like that guy. He's really. I mean, I li I'm not saying I don't like him. I don't like his style. Okay. All right. I try to be more civil, civil, and and I and I appreciate your service out here. I really so, do. I know you don't want to tell me your real name or your name. Can I? What can I call you, Mr. Smith? Or uh, just you can call me. Uh, sir is fine. So sir is now. fine. Yeah. Okay. You're, My name you're, is Chris. You're, listen. My name's Chris. Hey, That's Chris. what I was born with. It's nice to meet you. And, I, and I, it's not that I don't want to. Not on camera. I'll have to edit it out and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want, I'm trying to, to be as anonymous as I can. I've already been sort of doxxed because people know who, a lot of people know my voice and my, 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 uh, uh, my style and so forth. But Chief Bellyacre. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the Bellyacre. The Bellyacre? Yeah, they call me the Bellyacre, but Chief Bellyacre. What do you Bellyacre? That's my, about? well, you know, I tell you, that's an old story. Okay. And, uh, and it goes back a while, but we, I don't have time for that. I don't. Okay. I, I'm very limited on my battery okay. life and my in my memory. Okay. But yeah, I'm out here supporting and defending the Constitution the best way I can okay. for right now. Maybe you may or may not agree with it, but I'm not going to say too much more. I've got it on video. It'll be posted on that in the next day or two, and you can see this uh, deputy's demeanor and everything and then you can you can view it and use it for training purposes or whatever you want to do i wasn't disrespectful to him he wasn't disrespectful to me but he was uh out of line in in that he was demanding my id would not tell me whether i was being detained first he told me i was detained but and then, then once, and uh, then the deputies got on scene and they investigated what was going on and they told me then i like i said you're free to go and I wasn't sure if you were going to still be there because they were still trying to figure out if you were going to be trespassing. And so I said, so if I'm was. free to go, I'm free to stay. And when I tried to walk back over, do what I was doing in the beginning, you stepped in front of me. Listen, man, you're obstructing my, where I want to go. You don't have a, you don't have any authority over me unless I break the law. So the fact of the matter is the police can't stand it when you know your rights. They hate that because that means they have to be careful on what they do. Yes, they have immunity, but they also don't want to look bad. They have an image to preserve. And if they're caught violating people's rights, it doesn't make them look good. Get back to the video and enjoy. Right. Right. Understood. Was was that statement made to any one of these other than uh, any one of my guys other than me? No, it happened after these okay. guys rolled out. Okay. All right. Uh, so we, you understand the question and answer session that, that occurs, right? I do. We get called. I do. But we, there's a difference between a consensual conversation and being detained. And when you detain someone, you have to be able to articulate what reasonable suspicion you have at this time of me committing a crime. Because we're in a free country. I have the right to go where I want to go. Until I commit a crime, you have no authority over me whatsoever, unless you detain me. 
And again, if you detain me and you don't have that reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime, it's an illegal detainment. Now, now guys like me, I'm not going to sue you, but there's going to be guys, listen, this is a movement that's growing. And there's going to be guys coming up here with a gang of lawyers, man, ready to entrap you. And that's another reason I'm out here. All right. I want to make society better. I don't want to, I don't have any, any uh, an animosity towards law enforcement whatsoever. Okay. And it's exactly the opposite. All right. Now it's up to you whether to make yourself look good or bad. The camera does everything. I don't cut it. It just shows it. Okay. You know? So if, if you understand what we're trying to achieve and you're uncooperative with what we're trying to achieve, that frustrates us. Would you agree? And it, well, start, there, no, it starts with a very simple I don't my agree. name is right. if, if you don't want to even do the salutation, that's fine. But we have uh, if we get a phone call, regardless of the place, regardless of any of that, of a disturbance, and they give us a person description that you happen to fit that description, we are well within our rights to stop you and ask you a few questions. Right, you can right. ask, you can ask. Right, and if you don't want to ask and you're asked to leave, we have an obligation to enforce the law of trespassing and ask you to leave. If you right. don't leave, it goes into an arrest. Right, I understand okay. your policy, okay, on well, that's that. that's the law, it's not But this is, this is public, and that's what they realized once you investigated, they realized that I wasn't doing anything unlawful, I have a right to be there. And the and the postmaster doesn't have a right to trespass no. me from public property we can agree to unless disagree. I commit a crime. We can agree to disagree on it. Okay. If a police officer is investigating you, right? If the police are investigating you and they start talking to you, don't believe what they're saying. Every word they say, don't believe them because they have the right to lie. But you understand that I have a job to do. You're just like you're doing your job right now, right? Right. You take your job very seriously. I, I do. Well, so do I. All right. Look. And we're just trying to get through this life, and pay taxes and grow old and live, go, man. live in the hey. peace, right? And I got all, I can say, man, I totally support you guys and I really appreciate your service out here. I hope you guys stay safe. If I ever saw you in a, in a, in a pickle or a bind, I'd be the first one to back you guys up, and, and that goes probably for 99% of people out here. But at the same time, our, our constitutional rights are being slowly manipulated away from us, with, and they use this kind of reasoning that you're using to do it. And it all seems like it's all for the good, good of, and the safety. It's always for the safety. It's always for your own safety. The safest place is in Fort Knox, but I don't want to live there. Okay. Have you been there? Sidebar, have you been there? I no, went no. Basic, I went to basic training there. I actually got to do a okay. tour outside Fort Knox. Were you Army? I was. Okay. 21 thank, years. Thank you for your service. You're talking to Air Force right there. Thank right? you for your so service, bud. So we care about the we care about the country, and we also care about our community. Uh, and, I, and I have no doubt about that. But if, a lot of times you don't realize that, you, and I hate to use the word brainwashed, but you get sort of indoctrinated into becoming a tyrant, and you don't even know what's happening. Like, for example, when you think that you can detain somebody when you cannot articulate a reasonable suspicion of a crime. And there's no reason to defend yourself right now, bud. It's all, it's all on video. Call you Chief? You can call me Chief, sure. Chief? Okay. Is there anything I can help, that's all I can help you with? No, 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 not at all, okay. man. And, and like I said, man, I'm trying to build bridges here, man. Not tear them down. Well, right? I appreciate. I really am. Right. All right. Be good, please. All right. Absolutely. We'll probably see you around again, I'm sure. Well, hopefully not. I mean, this. I mean, the CDA police pretty much. Uh, they know now that what I'm up to, and they don't even hardly come out anymore. You know what I mean? Because I'm not breaking the law. They know I'm not out trying to break the law. Yeah. Chief, you have a good day. All right. All right you as well. Stay warm. Yep. All right. Well, that turned out a lot better having a little conversation with these guys. And uh, a lot of times, and they'll see the video, and a lot of times that's what it takes, you know, to try to build this, uh, this relationship back again, where the people aren't afraid, and they don't, listen guys, there's nothing that harms police work more than a bad cop. And a lot of times it's because of bad training. And a lot of times it's just because of power trip. I mean, this guy, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't want to slaughter it. But the officer that I was talking to, the one that walked up on me, um, 
hopefully he'll watch himself and be critical and self-critical and uh and look at it in that in that way and I do check out this guy's channel i'll put the link to it in the description he does very good work on dealing with law enforcement i will be adding my final thoughts and commentary to this particular video if you do not want to hear it leave now because it's at the end check out the community tab at 3 p.m central time so the fact of the matter is the police are not your friends the police will not change no matter how hard you try they don't care about you it's the truth like i hate to say this but it's true these cops don't care about you bro they don't respect your constitutional rights because the first thing they do when they approach you is ask for your identification was it a direct violation of the fourth amendment to the constitution of the united states so these officers they don't respect your rights they never will they never will no matter how hard you try they will never respect your rights so why continue to try to please these cops? There is no relationship to build because they don't care. If they were going to build and establish a relationship with the community, they would have already done it. They would make great, they would go through great lakes to make sure that they are respected and loved and cherished in the community. Clearly, these cops don't care about our rights. They don't care about your well-being. And that's just the truth. It's unfortunate that this occurs because no matter what you do when it comes to dealing with law enforcement, they do not respect you. Remember, the police have a lot of power while dealing with the police. The Supreme Court ruled that the police have the right to lie to you at any point of the investigation. What that means is that if, if they're investigating you, the police can lie. But if you lie to the police, you go to jail. If they lie to you, it's part of your job. It's part of their job. And the cops are not your friends. All original links are in the description, guys. Remember, film on the police is your right. And also, if you see a video at the end, consider watching it. Remember, guys, the police are not your friends. Consider liking, subscribing, and share. The goal is to reach 150,000 subs. All original links in the description. Bye-bye now. Check out the community tab at 3 p.m. Central Time.